All right, so finishing this problem off here, I have the slope formula, and I have what each item is uh, sitting right there. Um, let's finish off this problem here. So here's what we get. We end up getting, uh, when we plug it in, uh, y2 is 4. y2 is 4. Okay, so y2 is 4 minus um, y1, which is negative 1, over x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is 3. So plus uh, positive there. And then we're getting 5 over 3. Over here, it would be y2, which is 10, minus y1, which is 7, over negative 6, which is x2, minus negative 11, which is x1, plus a positive. Um, so we end up getting 3 on top and 5 on the bottom. All right, which one is steeper? Uh, basically, here's what this means. Steeper means the bigger it is, and as in the bigger, as in the absolute value, as in 10x, right, because slope's in front of the x here. 10 is bigger than 1, which means this is steeper. Okay, so the bigger the number, the steeper the slope is, but it's the absolute value. By that I mean negative 10 would still have a bigger slope than like a negative 1 because it's a bigger distance away from 0. So we're talking about the distance from 0. So which one is bigger? Uh, 5 thirds or 3 halves? Well, let's find out. We divide them and find out that we get 1 and 2 thirds is the slope of this one and 2 divided by 3 we end up getting 1 and a half which means this has a steeper slope because it's bigger um, which line is steeper? Well we already know what 5 thirds is, that's 1 and 2 thirds, let's figure out what 4 sevenths is, that's 1 and 3 fourths which is bigger than that, so this line is steeper because that one has a bigger slope. <clears throat> Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Um, it's exactly like we did before. Um, that's x1, y1, x2, y2. That's x1, y1, x2, and y2. So um, according to the formula, again, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So when I'm doing this, it's negative 2 minus 4 over 0 minus 2, which is negative 6 over negative 2. So the slope of this line is a positive 3. Over here, it would be 3 minus negative 3 over 1 minus negative 1 which is like saying that we get 6 over 2, which is 3. Because they have the same slope, they are parallel. Remember, same slope is parallel. And we won't bother doing that last one there. Um, so if you have any other concerns, um, please feel free to email me. But I think that this section should be pretty uh, self-explanatory for you.